If you watch Korean dramas or movies, you've probably come across these scenes in almost all of them. Wine, whiskey, vodka, there are so many types of alcoholic drinks around the world. And in Korea, soju is considered the national drink. That simply cannot be left out when talking about Korean culture. National liquids are usually known to have high price tags and are perceived as luxury drinks. But Korea sojus only cost 1,651 per bottle. Moreover, the Korean liquid brand Haid Jinno's Tamiso Soju enjoys an unrivaled popularity as the world's best selling spirit. Jinro, the world's best selling spirit. How is this possible? Back when food was scarce, products that required a lot of farmland were always a symbol of wealth and prosperity. Since Korean liquids were traditionally made from rice, when there wasn't even enough to eat, it was heavily criticized in the old days. For example, if they made alcohol with rice that could feed 100 people, it meant that many people were left starving for days. And when the country was hit by extreme poverty in the 1950s, right after the Korean War, making alcohol was just un acceptable. So in the 1960s, the government introduced the Grain Management Act that banned the use of rice when making alcohol drinks. As a result, companies began to produce diluted soju to replace the traditional distilled soju. The average South Korean aged over 20 drinks 87 bottles of soju a year or 1.5 bottles per week. In the beginning, the alcohol content of soju was over 30% and it was widely seen as a drink for only the strongest men. <laughs> but with the growing popularity of soju, it has shown a trend towards lower alcohol content, becoming a smoother and easier drink. More recently, brands have even released fruit-flavored soju, adding to the various changes soju has undergone throughout the years. But with the slow economic and production growth, coupled with the changing drinking culture, soju consumption in Korea has been decreasing in recent days. Plus, with the current COVID-19 situation, people are choosing to drink at home with a smaller group of friends rather than going out for soju parties. So there's been a greater demand for wine or high-end traditional soju. To find new sources of profit, Korean liquor companies have turned to the global market by exporting their soju products. In fact, exports to the US, China, Japan and Southeast Asia have been on a steady rise. But at the same time, Soju was voted as the worst Korean food by foreigners in 2020. Although there has been a great interest in soju, with the ever-growing popularity of K-pop and K-dramas, foreigners may not prefer the strong rubbing alcohol smell of soju if they are used to other liquids that have their unique flavor and aroma. That could be why many brands are launching high-quality distilled liquids lately. According to the industry, these products are sweeping the South Korean retail scene with reasonable prices and cleaner taste. 아무래도 회식이 사라졌잖아요. 네. 다 같이 모여 마시는 문화가 아니라 이제 집에서 뭐 혼자 마시거나 뭐두명세 명이 이제 소규모로 정말 친한 사람들끼리 먹는 문화가 발달을 하게 되면서 예전보다 고급수를 고를 수 있는 어떤 심리적인 요인이 된 라고 볼 수가 있겠죠. 그래서 2019년과 비교했을 때 2020년 한 해는 가정용 매출이 거의 the cheap, better soju has been Koreans' best friend in times of both sorrow and celebration over the course of the nation's history. So, it's exciting to see what other transformations are waiting to captive us in the future.